please welcome Josh Blau. <laughs> I'm going to be celebrating my 25th wedding anniversary with my lovely wife, Laura. In, in June, I know, I was like very young when I was married. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, I really, when I first saw her, you, you would understand that I fell in love with her, and, and it's been a beautiful 25 years. We have five children. Five? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Triplets, the last shot were triplets. And so we, we have a very beautiful, rich, expensive wife. And when we first met, I'm going to go back. I, I, I just saw her and I knew she was the one. And she said, But you, you have to meet my parents. And Laura's maiden name is Doctor. And she said, Well, my parents are doctors. And I said, Well, of course they're doctors. Your last name is Doctor. So their last name would be Doctor. She said, no, they're doctors. So I'm like, really? Your parents are doctor and doctor doctor? <laughs> wow. And I was trying to become a comedian then, but Fred, that didn't totally work out as a CPA. Um, but I thought that was just so great to be in love with doctor and doctor doctor's daughter, Laura Doctor. So, she says, you gotta go meet my parents. And I, I knew they were gonna love me because mothers always loved me. I mean, Marsha Kramer's mother loved me, Nanette Halpern's mother loved me, Fanny Feldenkrais's mother loved me. So of course, Dr. Doctor would love me. And I go to the house in Connecticut to meet Dr. and Dr. Doctor. First of all, to get to this house, the, that driveway was very long and there were lots of Mercedes, <laughs> and our mothers were very different. Doctor, doctor, um, wore like Armani, and I wasn't used to that. My mother, what did she wear? Not much. <laughs> my, mother always, my mother wore cut-off t-shirts, and she still does, she's 87, it's appalling, but doctor, doctor was in Armani. And I said, oh, you know, hello, and I said, what should I call you? And she says, wait, Call me Dr. Doctor. I'm like, really? I thought that was so great. I said, socially awkward moment, you can call me Josh Josh. Right? I know. So it's not going well. It's going much better here. And um, I said, you know, I'm really very in love with your daughter, daughter. Because when, when she didn't respond, I thought I'd just keep going very intense woman. She didn't like me. She didn't like me. She, it's 25 years later, but we're not gonna go, she, she's still, anyway. So then I met Laura's father, and he said, well, what do you do? I said, well, I'm, you know, trying to become an actor and a comedian, but I do have my accounting degree. And he takes me outside around the pool, pool, and um, it wasn't above ground either, it was built in. And, uh, and he starts, testing me on my times tables. I just met this man, and the thing is, I swear I know what eight times eight is, but I couldn't think of it at the moment. So I was very nervous, and he's like, well, what kind of accountant are you? And I said, well, that's why I'm trying to become an actor. And so, but it's just not going well at all. And you could see her parents get together at some point, and are like, what the fuck is this? And anyway, so, but of course, we get engaged, which, uh, her parents really, well, your father was sort of okay about it, your mother was appalled. Didn't she tell you the day of the wedding, Laura's mother says, it's not too late to call it off. <laughs> we were just right, right before the wedding. And, um, you know, so it was, it was not good, she didn't like me, but I was the ideal son-in-law. We did get married, and, and I just, no matter what she said, I just kept loving her. Outside, inside, I hated her. But I just always brought her flowers, and I was always kind to her. And, and, and you know, I, I even went back to accounting for them. And one day she was on the phone with Laura, and she said, you know, your husband is a dilettante. And I said, I think that's a very bad word. I didn't like it. And she was never really very nice to me. And like a year after our marriage, her sister gets married, and her sister marries an architect. 
And I was sure her mother was going to hate him. No, but she, she loved him. And I was a Jew, and he wasn't even Jewish. And well, what, I was too Jewish. Can you believe she thought I was too... Do I seem too Jewish? Uh, like, anyway, so we're at dinner one night. About, we're married about a year, and we're at dinner at this very fancy Italian restaurant, Biche, at the time was the restaurant in New York, because you're going back. And the whole family is there, right? Leslie, Laura's sister, the brother-in-law, the other two brothers, this one's Harvard, uh, Columbia Medical School, and Yale. I went to Miami Dade Community College. But I did, I was top of my class. And anyway, so everybody like in that family, Exeter, and you know, and in my, but I, Anyway, but I did go to FIU afterwards. And as a matter of fact, your father said, what did you do to get into FIU? And I said, not much, I just walked in. And he didn't like that either. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're at dinner. And Laura's mother's talking to my brother-in-law. Well, they were married, like my brother-in-law and my sister Laura were married for like a month. And we had been married for like a year. And my mother-in-law's talking to my brother-in-law, and no one's talking to me, which is fine, because I'm sort of used to it already. I talk to myself, and my wife is at the other side of the table. She's loving me, though. I can feel it across the table. Weren't you? Yes. And, <laughs> and they're talking about design, because he's an architect. And I say, oh, I know about design, or whatever I say. I try to jump into the conversation, and her mother says, Nobody's talking to you. So, this CPA, man, I was like, in that moment, you know, that moment in life, I said, I had it. And I stood up in, in Beach A, it was crowded, and I said, I am a human being, I have feelings, you don't get to talk to me like that anymore. And I just couldn't believe it, but I did it. I did it and I stormed out of the restaurant. Very, very scared. But I stormed out of the restaurant, and when I turned around, Laura was right behind me. I know. I, I said, honey, go back. We're going to be written out of the will. <laughs> we don't both have to do this. They like you. No, that's not true. She followed me, right? And, and I mean, it was unbelievable. And her father came running after us. And he said, oh, come back, come back, right? So I'm like, what? Come back, come back. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but we, we did go back. He talked to us and he said, listen, you know, I understand it's difficult. And I remember how it was for me when I was first married. I'm like, really? If you remember how it was for you, then why are you treating me like this? <laughs> So we go back to the table, and no one's talking. Laura's mother clearly isn't talking to me at all. But you know what? Whatever, because she doesn't talk to me anyway. And my brother-in-law actually told me a few years later that I was his hero. You know, you could see people were like, like looking up to me that I did this to Dr. Doctor. No one talked to Dr. Doctor like that. And, you know, as the years went by, she... She never was really crazy about me, really, and, and, and I bothered her. And then when we started having babies, she was felt that I was, you know, infringing on her daughter's well-being. And when, when we had the triplets, remember? Whoa, she was so pissed at me. I didn't do it on purpose. Jesus. I remember when she came to the hospital, she brought you a present and nothing for me. Anyway, so... But... But... One night, we're walking down the, I think it was 2nd Avenue, and we're coming from probably the Palm or something, because that's, that's, they just, all these people just all ate a steak. <laughs> and, uh, and Laura's brother, gotta get this if you think I was bad, Laura's brother's engaged, not that I think there's anything wrong with this, so you want to know, not, not that I do, but he, Laura's brother, Mr. Doctor, He's a doctor, too, so he's also Dr. Doctor. He just finished Columbia Medical School. He's engaged to a stewardess, which is totally fine. But Laura's mother is appalled. 
And Laura's mother pulls me aside, and she, she takes my arm, and she says, you know, I really can't stand that woman my son is engaged to. Don't you think so? Isn't she horrible? What do you think? And at that moment, you know, it's one of those moments in life you could say, you know what? You were nasty to me, now you're going to be nasty to her. Who are you? What do you think? What do you think you're doing? You're a terrible person. But what do I do? I say, I know she's horrible. <laughs> but I, know, I made a decision in that moment, and I, I, I live with it. But you know what? It worked. <laughs> she liked me after that, and we were friends, and so I sold out. Big fucking deal. Haven't you sold out once or twice in your life? And yes, that is um, that is what happened, and and it really it really changed our relationship. But I just really want to say the important part of this is that I am married to the most fabulous woman in the world. Thank you very much.